Who wants to know? Why do you guys always answer a question with another question? What are you, some kind of a wiseacre? <sighs> no, I'm with the SLA. You see, we're going to raise this station and we're going to build up a retirement home for aging revolutionaries. Come on, man. Luca. Ellie is super cop. You're supposed to wear that ID tag, Luca. That spoils the line of my jacket. Mm -hmm. SWAT rooms down those stairs. You narcs are all beginning to look like a bunch of weirdos. Thanks a lot, sweetheart. Dominic Luca. Yeah, sorry I'm late, Lieutenant, but I stopped on the way to get my hair done. <laughs> this isn't PS 29, Luca. Save the sophomore humor for your off hours. I want to see you clean shaven by tomorrow a.m. It goes for every man in this room. You men have been handpicked for your particular specialized skills. You're the best at what you do. The cream. But only three of you now present will make the team. The SWAT is elite. We're very particular about who joins the fraternity. This is the emergency control center. This is where you're going to live when you're with SWAT. This is the weapons arsenal that could save your life and the lives of a lot of other cops and civilians. Well, that'll be it for now, gentlemen. Collect your gear in the supply room. We'll be hitting it hard tomorrow, 7 a.m. Dismissed. Hondo Harrelson and Brother Deacon. There's a pair to write home about. I thought for a second they were going to pass the collection plate. Yeah, don't knock it till you try to. They know what they're doing. Yeah, well, if I didn't think that they did, I would bail out faster than you could spell S-W-A-T, eh? <laughs> Dom Luca. I've been working at Anarco. Jim Street. McCabe. T.J. Well, it looks like we're going to be in this mess together for a while. Look, how about a pizza and a beer over at Crazy Mary's? We can watch TV coverage on the 6 o'clock news or what's his name's funeral. His name was Officer Robert Michael Duran. Duran was his partner. He, uh, he was a pallbearer at the funeral. You know, sometimes my mouth runs a little faster than my brain. Just couldn't remember the guy's name for a couple of seconds. I nah, don't sweat it. He'll get over it. <sighs> yeah. But I won't. Freeze! Police, drop the weapon! Don't shoot! No! to give himself up. Murderer. Murderer! <laughs> Wife calls killing unjustified. What? Unjustified? Dude puts a bullet into a guy. Fires on an officer. Tries to spatter Dom, and when Dom shoots back, that's unjustified. According to Donna Eitzing, the strange wife of the victim, Alan Eitzing, age 38, had agreed to surrender peaceably. He was attempting to give himself up when shot down. That's a damn lie. That guy took a shot at me. Why don't they say that? It's 10 past, Luke. Yeah, I know, Lieutenant. There were some reporters hanging around my place, and it took me a little while to get rid of them. I'm sorry. Don't worry about those newspapers. All they've heard is her side. Here's a little different, right? Yeah, just a little. All right, for the record, run it down for me. The whole story. Exactly what you heard, exactly what you saw. OK. The photographer, Sullivan, took me around to the basement of the garrison building. I told him to wait near the entrance while I went in. And it was pretty dark. There was a light, you know, from around the corner. 
Anyway, when I looked around, Sullivan was following me. So I tried to wave him back. And then I heard and then I saw Ising and his wife. The woman saw me first. And she tried to get loose from her husband, but she tripped and fell. And then I shouted to him, freeze, police, drop the gun. And then he shouted to me, don't shoot. And then he fired at me. All right, he fired at me. And then I fired back. I got off two rounds and both hit and he went down. And then she crawled over to him. And that's when you showed up, Lieutenant. And then she started yelling at me, murderer, murderer. And, murderer. and that's it. What's the matter with her? What does she think? I wanted to shoot that guy that I enjoyed it? <sighs> All right, now, Dominic, I'll have to get this off to internal affairs. They're going to want to question you. But don't worry. As far as I'm concerned, you handled it right. Thanks, Lieutenant. I told you to wait downstairs. I couldn't. Well, look, you just can't hang around here in the hall. Why don't you go down there to your right? It's the recovery room. Have you had any word yet? No, not yet. It's too soon. He'll make it. He'll make it. I appreciate everything you've done. I'll let you buy me dinner. I'll make you dinner. You can cook? You're asking an Italian girl something like that? <laughs> I'll furnish the wine. Okay, right down there to your right. It's the recovery room. You'll be the first to see him, I promise. All right, I'll give instructions later. Right. Well, he made it. How long a recovery period? Oh, a week, maybe 10 days. Depends on how he responds. 10 days? My men will be delighted. Hospital food's killing him. <laughs> Serves him right. All right. How'd it go? Can't be fine. We're bringing him out. Hold it. I want you to keep your people in there until I give them a release. Well, Lieutenant, they need a break. They're beat. We have two more operations scheduled. Just keep them in there, Doctor. You understand? Let's go. an endorsement. The vest works. Drop to your knees, put your hand behind your head, and interlock your fingers. Who is he? Joe Stevens. He's syndicate. Five guys. They must have been crazy. Man, they were dumb. They didn't have a chance. Our backup plan would have worked even if they'd thrown more at us. If we have a backup plan, so do they. <laughs> He's your father. My father. The family's my father. That's the man who sent me money. Who are you? What are you, an animal? Oh, I hate him. Every time I needed him, he was too 
busy. And now he's trying to destroy the family, the people who really loved me. Love? <laughs> what do you know about love? You're worse than he is. Okay. Even he deserved better than you. Why can't you understand? The family is everything to me. They're the ones who took care of me. Well, how are they going to take care of you now? <laughs> Let's go. Okay. It's still your assignment. Why don't you understand? That man's a stranger to me. I don't even know him. I did what I did for the people who love me. First time in my life I didn't look for an angle. And I got taken. All right, let's go. <laughs> now, if I can just get this lined up again. Got it. Yeah, as good as new. Mm -hmm. Look, if you're not hungry, I'll come back later. Relax, Hilda. It isn't loaded. Oh, well, in that case, I'm here to cheer up your lunch hour. You're too early. We haven't eaten yet. How do you stand this guy? Mm. Luca, you can't eat pizza morning, noon, and night. You can't? <laughs> Just out of curiosity, Hilda, what do you got today? Whatever she didn't sell yesterday. You know, one of these days, I'm going to spike your pepperoni. Hey, Hilda, how come that sandwich has got dust on it? Because my maid doesn't clean on Tuesdays, that's why. <laughs> Come on, what are you guys, buyers or kibitzers? He who just kibitzes lives to kibitz another day. Brilliant. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Street, you're the only one with any class around here. That's why I made this up special, just for you. Hmm. Uh, what's in it? Trust me. Well, uh... I would, Hilda, I, I would, but you see, we've got this special rule that we can't eat on duty. Who says? The lieutenant. Right, lieutenant? With what right? Uh, that we can't eat on duty. Hilda's made a special sandwich for me. Well, that's right, Hilda. No eating on duty. But I made it up special just for him. Maybe I can sell it to one of the prisoners in the tank. I know you can't do that either, Hilda. They'll get us for police brutality. <laughs> now I know where they learn all that. From you. <laughs> well, Deacon and I just came back from the hospital. That guard took quite a beating, but I think he's going to make it. Did he come up with anything? Two men. One black, one white. Mid to late 30s. No other unusual characteristics that he could see. It was too dark, too fast. He couldn't pull them out of a mug book. There were pros. Well planned, like a military operation. Mm, it's not much to go on. Really nothing to go on. We want to start with that armored car outfit. I want the name of every bank or supermarket that they service. Also the name of any other place where their cars pick up or deliver cash. Got it, Lieutenant. Now you two take an hour for lunch. Street will have that list by then. You can start following up on it. Deep. Well, you heard what the old man said. Let's grab some lunch. I know this sounds weird, but talking to Hilda's making me hungry. Hey, I'm uh, having lunch with Susan. Jay, just because you're engaged to a girl does not mean you have to eat with her every day. <laughs> hey, look, you don't like to eat lunch alone, that's okay. You're welcome to join us. No, thanks. The last job Susan had was promoting farm machinery. We wound up eating hamburgers on a tractor. Hey, the hamburgers were great. What do you mean? Yeah, so is the grease we got in our uniforms. <laughs> and I won't forget that promotion she did for the cemetery, remember? You want to discuss where we had lunch that day? Hey, look, take my word for it, Dom. You'll love the job she's got this time. TJ. I know Susan, she's been hired by a freak factory to publicize their new line of zombies, but I'll give it a try. <laughs> Now everybody sit tight. And nobody moves for 30 minutes, you understand? 
because whoever does is going to be late getting home. It's already late. You men are surrounded. Now throw out your weapons and come out with your hands behind your heads. I'm going to get me some hostages. Mauser MG-34, SCOTA 701, French armor pissing ammunition. Not exactly your average Saturday night special stuff. He'd be a street cop going up against all this. Yeah, you wouldn't have a chance. How does a punk like Joe Parsons come off having this kind of firepower? That's what we're going to have to find out. And fast. <laughs> 